All right, so I'm actually starting to really um, put a lot more, um, I don't know what you would call it, pencil to paper for uh, getting into January 1915 for my game. Like it's really starting to, well, I'm putting pencil to paper. I will say this, uh, a, a shout out to this book again. Um, yeah, I can remember way back when it was kind of like, oh, it's a bit of a light read or whatever. It, I'm just being a whatever. Um, this is this is why I was like uh, just reminded of my uh, reminded of this too. Uh, it's a really darn good book, um, and it would also help me out for this bit. So this is the Ted Racers book. I think I actually got it from the Decision uh, Games website. It's where are you? Where are you gonna get here? Ah, the Prussian model. And then they start. He starts talking about. Um, cores, divisions, how they were all set up and so on and so forth, which is going to lead me to something that, yeah, I'm gonna, I guess you can call it uh, just picking at a scab, uh, you know, whatever. Actually, I need to take this off. So like I said, I'm trying to get uh, things working. And one thing that's always been driving me up the tree, hopefully you can see that, uh, is uh, core HQs. So I'm going to go through it a little bit again because I'm going to show you what I've changed um, for my game and uh, there was one little wrinkle here in this uh, one of these sentences that I found a little awkward hold on I'll see if I can bring it in a bit more hold on um, that should help I think yeah, I'll leave it be anymore hold on oops so there we go um, so, uh, yeah, like you see there, and obviously I'm doing a link duration or campaign game. So core HQ, uh, core headquarters may be created at any time by placing a core headquarters unit in the same hex as any army headquarters at the beginning of a turn. There's no restriction or limit on the number of core headquarters that may be created. Um, for LinkedIn, and yet again, we're going with that one. Uh, core headquarters have limited capabilities. They may hold, here we, here's this interesting one coming up and it, I was like, what does he really mean by this? I, I'm like, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna read it um, the way it is and just go that way. Uh, or I'm going that way with it. Cause I was like, okay, if he's intending it for the other way, it's, it just doesn't make sense. It would be, it would limit core HQs to what's the point. Almost like a one shot, uh, a one shot thing which is maybe what he wanted. I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's get to it. They may hold a maximum of 10 supply points. That's fine. But this is the bit here and may only send and receive supply points over land on the turn they are created. So if you didn't have this bracket afterwards, uh, I'd be like, okay, that means they only get, you better only set, get them 10 supply points because after that they can't do anything. They can't send or receive. However, it says they may conduct rail transfer normally. So I'm like, okay, does that mean any other, in any other turn I can send them off that stuff? Which is um, what, the way I'm going to go. Uh, any attack may only have up to two supply points expended for it by core headquarters. Similarly, any counterattack may only have up to four supply points expended for it by core headquarters. Okie dokie. So, and then we're going to go to the production points uh, chart which I printed off uh, so you can just, I don't want to get through the whole thing here, but you can see the headquarters here. It's uh, cost 10, oops, sorry, I'll zip out. There we go. So it's, um, I'll even have to zip out a little bit more. Not too, too much. Uh, so it's 10 uh, production points. I don't even know what the, those really are yet. Um, and it's going to cost five manpower. Well, actually, you know what? We're going to use my sheet, which is a lot better because you're going to see my uh, new bits and hopefully, hopefully it will come out nicely. Hold on. I'll try to do a thing like this. So there's the one at the top. Um, six months to complete. Uh, Ten de uh, demoralization points if lost. This is according to Devel Creek. No restriction to the amount of supply points that can be expended for attacks or counterattacks. 10 production points and 5 manpower points to make one, unless you're a Russian, Serbian, Ottoman, or Bulgarian headquarters, and it will only cost you 5 production uh, points and 3 manpower points. For me, so this is the way I'm deviating now, and it solves so many problems for me, it's not funny, is because it now makes core headquarters worth something, which they are anyways, they're, they're valuable, and um, 
since they are now like it's going to cost me something when um when they're lost and so on and so forth and I, I just can't make core headquarters whenever the heck i want if i want a ton of headquarter core headquarters fine but it's going to cost me and it's going to cost me a lot of uh, some time uh, core headquarters three months to complete four demoralization points of loss which is the same amount as um uh, one cavalry strength point or artillery uh, strength point if, if uh, uh, lost. Uh, uh, surrendered, I do believe. Uh, two supply point restriction uh, that can be expended for attacks, just like up, up there. Oh, sorry, that should be four. Uh, a four uh, um, supply point restriction that can be expended for counterattacks. And then three production points and two manpower points instead of the, the ten and the five. And then I went with the two and the one. I didn't go like one and one or whatever. I wanted to still keep a two because I don't, I'm a little bit worried about like um, giving them a bit too easy way of making um, core HQs yet again. So I thought the two and one would still, and yet again, you, you know, there's a, a limit to how low it's going to, uh, you know, take for infrastructure. But yet again, this is looking at the Ted Racer book, The Crowns in the Gutter thing, uh, and uh, talking about Bulgarian uh, divisions and also later on uh, talking about um, Serbian, um, for example, I think Serbian, uh, they didn't even call their armies or their, they called corps, they didn't call them corps, they were called armies, that type of stuff. So it's, you know, it's interesting to whatever. But anyways, I think I'm going to go with this. It makes a lot of sense for me. That's it. Hope you're having a good one. See ya.